Hi, I'm Al Glower. I'm the event director for Narcon 2009. Um, they've also, they also call me the sacrificial goat for 2009. I'm glad to see the, the number of people who are here today. We have a wide swipe of vendors and some great educational content. And um, hope you've all enjoyed Narcon 2009. Simrock started back in 2002 after a 31 year hiatus from our early days. And we decided we were going to build rockets that were remembrance of the past with the modern technology and looked at a lot of the old designs out there, including ours, and picked some of the best and started producing them as kits. We're up to somewhere around 70 kits now. And we got a full line from just about everything from the smallest uh, 13 millimeter to uh, 29 millimeter. We have uh, released Four, four new kits for NARAM this year. The Hydra 1, which is a downscale of our, our uh, larger Hydra 7 that we, that we produced in 1969. The Magnum Sprint and the Magnum Hornet, which are reproductions of some Centuri kits from 1980. And the lunch kit that we did for Lunch Magazine uh, for their first 300 subscribers that signed up online. Our most popular selling rocket is the Laser X. It was one of our first ones that we did, and it has sold around 1,100. Our second most popular is one of our most recent kits, the Saturn 1B, which is a 170th scale model of the Saturn 1B and a close reproduction of the original Estes K29. In the next month or so, we're trying to come out with a Saturn V that will be 100 scale, uh, so people will be able to fly those between now and the 40th anniversary of Apollo 11. Since 1968, we, everything we've ever done has been made in USA with uh, USA labor, USA parts, because we do them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Carl McLaughorn, and my wife Cheryl McLaughorn and son Bruce are the owners, operators, and proprietors, designers, skilled labor, unskilled labor of Simrock. <laughs> oh, well, we've been around for about six and a half years. We tend to specialize in rather creative, unusual rockets, uh, some odd rocks, some more conventional uh, sci-fi sport models. Most of these are rockets that I scratch built in the 70s and 80s that I figured would make good kits, and they certainly do. People like them. We range everything from skill level one up to skill level five, depending on the rocket uh, skills that you're looking for. We have uh, new rockets coming out. Uh, we have a lighthouse rocket, the Nantucket Sound, is the commemorative kit for this Narcon event. This is patterned after the Narcon logo. When I decided to uh, do a commemorative kit, I was trying to think of a rocket design, and when I saw the logo, it was an instant have to do. So this has only been about six weeks in the design phase. This was very quick from conception to kit. Probably the fastest we've ever done. Have you flown one yet? Oh, I've flown several times. In fact, that unpainted one right there is the flying prototype. That's probably got six or seven flights against it on C, D, and E motors. How did it do? Did great. Doesn't fly very high, so it's good for small fields. Also good for New England, because we don't have big fields out here. And we've also delved into the world of Micromax. Real small rockets that use the Quest Micromax motors. These are what the motors look like. These are rated at 1 8 A. These models will go anywhere from 75 to about 150 feet, depending on the model. Ultra lightweight. The Deuce is Wild is our most popular kit, no question of it. It has the canted dual motor. And this is an original that I probably first designed and built in the late 70s. And it never really attracted that much attention. As soon as we kitted it up, it became a worldwide phenomenon. It's just an incredible, incredibly exciting kit for people who like clusters. It's, it's a must have for some people, they just love it. And if they break it, they get another one. And people don't want to be without a deuce. And we also announced a few months ago for teachers our cutaway rocket motor kit. This is a model kit that you build, shows what the inside of a rocket motor looks like. And it has another feature 
you can take out the delay and ejection charge and turn it into a booster motor. I've been doing rocketry since 1963. My first rocket was a Skyhook. I remember clearly, and it was a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, enjoying it. Uh, I get paid to play. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my name's Brad Martin. Uh, my company is BMI CAD Services, and uh, we're an electromechanical job shop. Uh, we design, document, and fabricate things for all industries, and on the side, we support the uh, rocketry hobby, and here we have an assortment of uh, fin jigs, uh, a mini, a single fin jig, as well as uh, six inch, uh, 12 inch, and 18 inch uh, fin jigs that do three, four, and five fin configurations, and uh, as well as a launch pad, an all aluminum launch pad, and we also do some launch rods as well. Yeah, if you want straight fins, this is the way to do it. Good afternoon, I'm David McKiernan from Hot Rod Rockets. Uh, produce a small number of craftsman style model rocket kits, uh, a real focus on education. Uh, being an educator myself, doing a lot of uh, rocketry classes with 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th graders, um, we've developed a lot of things to help out the kids and try to bring rocketry to another generation. It's always been my hobby. It's always been a load of fun. And the uh, most popular kit is one of my most basic. Uh, just the Endeavor. It's a very simple uh, rocket kit. This one is actually built by a student, flown by a student, obviously. <laughs> Got a little ding on it. Focus on simplicity with all of my kits. Nothing too fancy, but yet still having things like balsa nose cones, you know, the traditional parts, uh, traditional building methods, no plastic, and no snap together. Uh, kids that build my kits will actually learn construction techniques. The Heavenly Harvest is a kind of a young company. We started in 2006, uh, perhaps to try to cater to the uh, people that had small flying fields in the Northeast as opposed to the big fields in the West. And that's how it all started. Um, we started with our own designs and expanded to other companies as well as to other lines of business. But this is still close to my heart. Uh, so I keep designing new rockets for the uh, more adventurous uh, rocketeers that have a small place to fly. That's, how, that's what Heavenly Hobbies is. My most popular kit is the Backdraft. It's a kit that has two engines, one in, in the booster section and one in the uh, nose uh, section. So when the rocket passes Apogee, nothing happens, but the second engine on the way down uh, stops the rocket in midair so that the parachute finally can pop out from the back. That is one of our uh, most popular uh, designs, one that has created a lot of controversy. Um, and I guess that's part of the reason why it's the most popular. <laughs> this is uh, my Washihei rocket. Washihei is the name for a Japanese uh, bird. This rocket has an engine in the front and a video camera in the back. The video camera is one of these two. We designed it around either of these two cameras. Um, this one takes an hour of video. This one takes two hours of video. And either of them will, will fit it perfectly. What size engine does that take? It uses 29 millimeter engines, uh, anything from E to G.